What's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, Jean Mikel. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be continuing in my series on using Reason Live. And today I wanted to hit you guys with a simple, very, 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 very simple thing. But I've asked, had questions asked about this. Uh, like, how do I just simply add my keyboards into Reason? Like, if I want to use my MIDI keyboard, my uh, controller, whatever the case may be, inside of Reason. How do I set that up? How do I do that? It's very, very easy, very, very simple. Uh, so we're here inside of Reason here. I got preferences pulled up. You just go to Reason, hit preferences. You get this window right here. Uh, and what we're going to do is go to this section right here in the middle that says Control Surfaces. Now, they have a auto detect feature, which is really, really dope, that you can click and it will actually go through and it will search through the common uh, MIDI controllers that are already out on the market. Uh, and it will just search through them and see if there any of those are connect connected. And they have a vast majority of some of the main ones that are actually uh, out there. So it will search through and see if you have one that's already connected in their database. Uh, and if it is, it will automatically be mapped and automatically be ready to go. And you won't have to do anything else. It'll just show up and it'll be attached and it'll be mapped and it'll be ready to go and ready to use with reason. Now, I don't have a particular controller uh, that is actually connected um, that is in their database. So a lot of you may run into this particular situation where it says no keyboards. A control set surfaces were automatically uh, detected, uh, auto detected. You can add a keyboard or control surfaces manually by clicking the add button. And that's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna click here uh, and we're gonna hit add and manufacture if you have, like for instance, I have an M Audio uh, Key Station 49. Uh, I could go M Audio uh, and I could just choose something close to it, you know, uh, whatever, and just, just select whatever. It doesn't really matter. But, uh, and for this case, because it's not in the list, I'm going to hit other and it's going to ask you down in this drop hall, drop, drop down. Is this a MIDI control keyboard? Is it a MIDI control surface? Is it a MIDI keyboard with no controls? Blah, blah, blah. This case is a key station. So it's a MIDI control keyboard without controls MIDI keyboard no controls you can name it and I'll name it the uh, key station 49 and then MIDI input shows down here and I can just simply click on uh, key station 49 ES right there shows up okay and boom now it's connected with reason just that easy and you will repeat the process for any additional keyboards or control surfaces that you have connected uh so now that it's connected i could just start playing just like that no no more added things to do it's just connected it inside of preferences pulling up my sound starting playing all right that's really all it is to it that's all i wanted to share quick down and dirty tip on how to get going with reason uh if you like this video please give me that thumbs up it always helps uh support the channel if you don't do anything else just hit the thumbs up on your way out uh hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber i would love to have you a part of our family here in our community here on the channel uh and allow you guys to see some of the great content that we release on a daily weekly basis or what have you uh and um yeah all that good stuff like that subscribe share blah 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 all that stuff that people normally say at the end of their videos. All right, I'm out. You guys have a good one. We'll see you guys at the next video.